Okay, so let's talk about what happened, what would happen if you had olive oil every day for 10 days. Hey, so also this video is sponsored by Juve. My favorite red light, and let me tell you, there are many reasons why I use Juve, but one of them is because it has an anti-inflammatory effect on our cells. It also powers up our mitochondria, gives them more energy. We actually have receptors on our cells for red light. And as you're gonna learn in this video, this video is all about lowering inflammation. So make sure that you include Juve, red light, if it works for you. Okay, so let's talk about what happened, what would happen if you had olive oil every day for 10 days? Healthy oils and inflammatory oils. You can call them good oils, bad oils, but I really wanna point out that there are oils that are nourishing to your body that you want to lean into. Olive oil is one of them. And there are oils that are inflammatory to your body and you're gonna want to back away from, at least if you don't want a chronic inflammatory situation. And I also wanna point out that as always, all, what I'm trying to do here on this video is help you think this through for yourself. Now, I've been doing this long enough. I know that there are certain topics that agitate people. And one of those topics I don't get is oils. So I'm going to walk you through the, pro the thought process and then I'm gonna ask you to think this through for yourself. I don't know why oils are so controversial because to me, they're the number one ingredient that we have to change if we want good health, and here's why. When you look at these cells that are in our body, you have about 72 trillion cells. I mean, there's lots of different numbers that have been thrown out. Nobody, I think, has actually gone in and counted every cell. So each cell has a certain characteristic and formula that it is going to thrive on. And here is the formula, and here's the way you wanna look at these cells. They are porous. What that means is that they should be able to, you should be able to get nutrients in. On the outside of these cells, are receptor sites that are there to grab in vitamins, to grab in minerals, to grab in hormones, so that it can take in all of these nutrients and put it inside the cell. And around the outside of the cell is a barrier. It's like a gate to make sure that only the good comes in and to make sure that the incredible intelligence inside your body can push the bad out. So that gate is critically important and that gate is called your cellular membrane. And if your cellular membrane is inflamed, I don't care how many supplements you take, I don't care if your diet is impeccable, if you can't get the nutrients that you are eating and you are taking into the, into the cell, it's of no use to you. So that outer membrane is critical for nutrient acceptance and toxins are how the body being able to push toxins out of it. And it is a bilipid membrane. And when you eat good fats, you allow nutrients to get in and toxins to get out. And when you eat bad fats, you do the opposite. You inflame that cell and now nutrients can't get in and, and toxins can't get out. And that is a chronic disease problem. When you lean into olive oil for 10 days, what happens is that you actually start to nourish this gate. You nourish this membrane and you make this membrane pliable again. When you are eating unhealthy, inflammatory, bad fats like canola oil, cottonseed oil, corn oil, vegetable oil, man-made oils, you make that gate very, very rigid. When you eat olive oil, when you eat avocado oil, MCT oil, and you really focus on these healthy oils, you make that gate porous again. And everything you're trying to do with your health depends on that outer gate of these cells. So when we start to eat olive oil every single day for 10 days, we are bringing back cellular health. Now there's a couple of things, I'm gonna explain why here in a moment, but there's a couple of things I want you to know about olive oil that's very unique to olive oil. If you decide to heat olive oil up too high, it becomes inflammatory. That's a bummer. It's like it took this healthy oil and it turned it into an inflammatory, unhealthy oil. So 
a real trick is you don't want to ever let that oil smoke. So you know when you like put an oil on a pan and all of a sudden it heats up and there's some smoke coming off of it? If that was your olive oil that you put on the pan, then you want to make sure that if it smoked, you start over again because now it's turned to an unhealthy inflammatory oil. Same thing if you're rubbing the your turkey, for those of you in the United States, you're rubbing it on your, on your Thanksgiving turkey and you put it in the oven, most of the time temperatures are too high, they turn that into an inflammatory fat. So how you heat olive oil is really important. The second thing I want you to know about olive oil that's really important is you never want it to go rancid. So rancid means it turned, it's, it like became a bad oil. So you wanna buy, I, I, when we buy olive oil in the supermarket, we buy small containers of it because we don't want a big container of olive oil that will turn rancid because we can't use it fast enough. Um, when I go out to a restaurant and they give me olive oil, I often do olive oil and vinegar on a salad, I'll smell it and make sure that it doesn't smell rancid. Olive oil that is stale, that has been around for a long time, it can turn rancid. The third thing that I want you to know about olive oil is that the bottle it's in matters. So you want it in glass and you want it in a dark container. If it was in a clear container and sunlight came into it, it could turn it bad, it can make it rancid. But if you put it in a, like you'll see a lot of olive oil companies have figured this out, they have a dark green or dark brown glass. And so when you use olive oil uh, or have it contained like that, just make sure you keep it away from sunlight so that it doesn't go rancid as quickly. And the fresher the oil, the more organic the oil, olive oil, the better. So if you've ever had amazing olive oil, you know what I'm talking about. So we want it in this high quality. So with that, those being the premises here, why would you eat it every day for 10 days? Well, the first, isn't it's anti-inflammatory. So don't we want to bring down inflammation? Isn't that like the root of all chronic disease is inflammation? We want to bring inflammation down. So great, 10 days of olive oil. And I would say the little caveat to that is let's not do any other oils. Let's just try olive oil in everything you do for 10 days. And if you're cooking it, just make sure it doesn't smoke. Let's just do it that way. And you do it for 10 days. And then what I want you to do is tell me how your joints feel. That's where you'll notice it. When you're moving and you're walking, you'll feel that there's more fluidity in your body. You'll notice it in your skin and you'll start to see that your skin has some more moisture. And those of you that are postmenopausal like me, we have to fight for most moisture on our skin. So you'll start to see it in, in the, the quality of how your body feels to you because it, it brings that inflammation down. Second thing, is if we start to do 10 days of olive oil and we're leaving the bad oils out at the same time, we're making those cells more porous, but we're getting toxins out. So you're, it's a detox. It's literally 10 days of, of olive oil is like a detox. You allow the body finally to have an opportunity to push the toxins out. Without that opportunity, when the outer cellular membrane is really rigid, what happens is those toxins stay inside the cell and they start to trigger genes inside that nucleus of your cell. They start to shut down mitochondrial production of, of the, the key little powerhouses of your cell. So we need to get these detox out. So have we ever thought of olive oil for 10 days as a detox? It's a great detox. Okay, third thing. Those of you that are trying to get your hormones up, you're trying to get vitamin D up, a real key is this cellular membrane. You need those that cellular me membrane to be in good shape in order for these nutrients and hormones to get in. So one of the reasons I like to do it as a 54-year-old woman is that I like to be able to t make sure that every single age-appropriate sex hormone my body is making can actually be activated and brought into the cell. So I've spoken so much here about how we can get to know the personalities of our hormones, but let's just throw out the personality of progesterone. Uh, after 35, progesterone starts going down. If that's new to you, get the menopause reset, get fast like a girl, I explain it all in there. But as progesterone goes down, what happens to you is anxiety can go up, your inability to calm can go up, uh, your uh, sleep can go off, some muscular skeletal injuries can appear. And so do this 10 day test and then you tell me how those symptoms are. Okay, check this out. I have a free fasting guide for you all, it's free. 
and it's going to teach you all the basics of fasting. It's going to teach you how to kill hunger when you fast, which is really cool. And it's going to show you how to break your fast among many other things. All you got to do is click on this link right here and enjoy. Is it possible that you don't need more of an exogenous hormone that you're finding in your bioidentical or your HRT, but you actually need your cells to be able to receive that hormone to be able to activate it? And those of you that are on bioidenticals or HRT, I really encourage you to get this cell cellular membrane health right so that you can maximize what you're already putting in. So I hope you got that big concept. This is really, really important because the outside of our cells have so much wisdom. They control their gatekeepers for what's going into the cell. So really, really important that we are able to make sure all the goodness can get in. And something as simple as eating olive oil every day for 10 days can really help. Now, I know what a lot of you are going to ask me. Well, is that all I do for every day for 10 days? You could, you could do an olive oil fast if you want. Not That's not what I was thinking. I was thinking that you would do, along with healthy eating, the, nut, the main oil you would eat for 10 days would be olive oil. And, and let's see how you do with that. Just a 10 day experiment experience could be really interesting for your overall health. So report back. If you watch this video, you go try it. I wanna know in the notes how it works for you in the comments, so report back. If you have a great olive oil recipe, put it in the comments. We are a community here on, on YouTube. Um, but most importantly, I want you to take this information, sit with it, and see if it fits for you. Does it feel right for you? And the only way you know is you can listen to this, and you might go, yeah, really, really interesting. I'm not so sure. Well, test it, test it. That's, I'm here to, help you think through what's right for you, not to tell you to, to live your life exactly like me. I'm just bringing you information that I'm hoping you'll apply. Some of it's going to work. Some of it may not be up your alley. Either way, I want you thinking through health for you. I don't want you falling prey to advertising, to uh, financial agendas that other people have. I want you to do health your way. As always, I hope that helps. Okay, you trying to maximize your weight loss? Apple cider vinegar may be the key. Go check out this video where I show you exactly when, how, and why you wanna use it for weight loss. Apple cider vinegar changes your microbiome of your gut. This good bacteria is gonna to help to bring your blood sugar down and make it so that you can switch over into the fat burning state